Hello everyone, welcome to NeuroSapiens. In today's tutorial, we'll look at the Python string methods, is decimal, is digit, and is numeric, and their differences. So I've created tutorials on each of these methods separately, if you haven't seen that already. In Python, there are string methods, is decimal, is digit, and is numeric, which each check if a specified string satisfies the conditions for each method and return returns true if it does, otherwise it will return false. The syntax for each of the methods are the string underscore object, followed by the method name. So is decimal, is digit, or is numeric, and then finishing it with opening and closing parentheses. For each of these string methods, there are no parameters. And the string that we'll work with here is a string underscore int underscore var variable with the output here 797. So we'll start off by checking for if this string contains valid decimal characters. So we'll print here, is the string integer 797 valid decimal characters, string underscore in underscore var dot is decimal. And we'll see the output here that this is true. So return true contains decimal characters. And we can also check here for a superscript 797. So we'll create a Unicode superscript variable, which is equals backslash u, followed by 2077, and then backslash u 2079, and then backslash u 2077. And we'll print the output here for the variable, so 797 as a superscript, and we can print Unicode sup dot is decimal and we can see here that this returns false so return false for the is decimal method it does not consider superscript and the subscript as decimal characters and we can also check here for vulgar fraction so we'll check for seven over eight so we'll create a v frac variable with backslash u 215e and we'll print the fraction. You can see that this is seven over eight and we can check does this contain decimal, valid decimal characters. And so that is false. So for the is decimal method, it does not consider fractions, Roman numerals and currency numerators as decimal characters. are not considered decimal characters. And we can also extend this check for both variables to checking for digit. So we can print is the string integer 797 valid digit characters and string underscore int dot is digit. And we can see that this returned true. So these are valid digit characters. We can also check for the Unicode string that is digit. And we can see here that this also returns true. So return true. The is digit method considers superscript and subscript as digit characters. And we can also print this for the fraction, vfrac dot is digit. And we can see here that this returns false. So all fractions, Roman numerals and currency numerators are not considered digit characters. And we can also now check for numeric so we can print is the string integer 797 valid numeric characters. And then we can check here for string underscore int underscore var dot is numeric. And we can see here that this returns true. So these are valid numeric characters. And we can also print for the Unicode super and check 
is numeric. And we can see here that this also returned true. So is numeric method considers superscript and subscript as valid numeric characters. And lastly, we can also check for the vfrac dot is numeric. And we can see here that this also returns true. So return true all fractions, Roman numerals, and currency numerators are considered numeric characters. So these are the differences between the three methods, is decimal, is digit, and is numeric in Python. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell for weekly videos. Please share the video with anyone who you think would benefit from the content, and comment below what topics you would like to learn. If you would like to support this channel and have the means to do so, the best way will be via my Patreon link in the description below. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next tutorial.